In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Reggie Miller and how he shot the basketball and his basketball shooting form. Basketball shooting form is obviously very important, especially if you want to be a top-notch shooter like Reggie Miller. So let's get down and let's check him out and see how he shot the ball. So something that really does intrigue me with Reggie Miller's shot is that his arm tends to actually flare out and cross against his other arm and this is something that for many coaches and trainers they will actually shy away from having their players do. Now why is it the case that he actually shoots crossing his arms? Well actually the reason I think is is because his elbow is super flared out. If his elbow is flared out as far as it is, usually that ball is going to go super far towards the left. However, with this sideways push or spin on that ball, that can actually help that ball go straight. It's almost like if it's an opposite reaction so that then, especially with that slight thumb flick, can actually make that ball go straight. We have to remember that he was one of the greatest players to ever shoot that ball. And we can also see that right here, it's roughly his middle finger that is bent this way. And then once he releases that ball, it's straight up. It's actually such an intriguing shot. I wish there was better footage back then, but they didn't have 4K and 8K back then. We can even see this here where he tends to bring his arm towards that left side. And we can see it here once again. We can also see in this clip that he brings that ball up the middle of his body so that he can shoot from pretty well over top of his head. Now something that I really want to point out as well is that his shoulders are over top of his knees and over top of his toes. And we can actually see that that will balance him much better when he's shooting, which he's got a fantastic base. It's very hard for a player to push off of that base or at least ha have a defender push him off that base. And we can also see that he really does bring his knees together as well. Overall, this is actually a shooting form that many coaches would actually kind of shy away from and say you shouldn't be shooting like that. However, we see that one of the greatest shooters of all time shoots like that. I think one of the reasons is also his footwork that does allow him to be able to do these quick shot fakes and then he's able to pull up being almost pretty well square towards the basket and I think that's actually one of the reasons why his elbow was flared was because his body was usually pretty square towards the basket. His offhand was on the side of the ball and I think also there could be a reason why maybe he really wanted to have more of a viewing or eyesight between his arms when shooting. I'm not too sure but it is quite interesting however. We can see that he does have a slight also drift in his shot. Now his shoulders, I've, I've showed this before, they call it a sway, but it's a lower body sway that he goes maybe a half a foot ahead of on his shot. That gives him the extra power as well. And we can see that after the shot here, even though he pushes his arm sideways, he actually brings his hand back out towards the right side and his offhand is oddly enough towards the left side. It's such a very weird shot. He also really does have his wrist bent at around a 90 degree if not just a bit more of an angle and he also doesn't get a ton of rotation on that shot as well maybe two two and a half full rotations which is fine but it kind of at times looks like even less than two rotations so it's actually quite interesting how he was able to shoot and shoot at such a high level as well and he was so good at being able to shoot off the dribble and drift towards his right side or even his left side as well. He was able to take those drift shots, in my mind, miraculously, but on these drift shots, it's really interesting because on the drift shots or on the dribble up drives, he actually has tilt on his body and that actually gets his shoulder and elbow in line which is potentially why he was such a much a more of a deadly shooter when he was taking a dribble drive and pulling up for a mid-range shot in my opinion he was more deadly he seemed to have a very high percentage but it's so interesting how a player can change his tilt mid-game or even 
basically between different types of shots and it's interesting because he has his elbow in line here but on a set shot he doesn't so I thought I would leave that with you it's actually quite an interesting sight to see it's an interesting shot breakdown as well now if you're having trouble shooting and your hands cross or if you're having trouble shooting and you just can't get rid of this sideways uh, turn with your hand if it's helping you you can keep it, but most likely 90 something percent of the time, I can almost guarantee it's not helping. If you're not getting good backwards rotation, if you're not getting good arc, if you're just missing a lot of shots, that's the first thing I would personally try to say to change. I wouldn't say fix, it's more negative for the kids these days or for people these days, the word fix is more negative. So if you're coaching a kid who has that uh, sideways turn on, on his hand uh, I would say we're going to uh, we're gonna make your shot better and we're not gonna say the word fix or we're gonna kind of change that a bit whatever it may be but either way if it's possible to make it to a high level with a shot form like this as long as you're shooting at a high percentage it's just so interesting to me I'll see you guys again next time